back in Baku for a second ADEX daily video report. And for today, we will focus on the Azerbaijani defense industry. It's an anti-material rifle uh, with 23 mm caliber. And it's the first time uh, that demonstrated in this exhibition. In this exhibition. Uh, this rifle uh, can be, the shooting range is 2,000 meters uh, and it's used in, against um, uh, armored vehicles. And at the same time, weapon systems, which is uh, founded uh, in desert area and is intended to damage such kind of uh, material, anti materials uh, uh, items. This rifle is used by two persons. In this rifle is uh, intended to damage the originally object directly. In spite of that, uh, the weight is very heavy. I would like to inform you that the weight of this rifle is 34 kilograms. Uh, it's very easily divided into two parts. You can take it in your uh, like sacks, uh, back sacks, uh, uh, between uh, with two persons who is used it. Uh, for uh, like using this rifle, uh, initially you need uh, 23 millimeter ammunition, and this ammunition is also used in Gaishe 23 uh, ammunition, which is used in um, airplanes, and the uh, projectiles which is used in them like cartridges is very wide. It has a, a, several types of this ammunition. And the other specific creature of this rifle is that there is used a special uh, optical sight. And the main uh, qualification of this optical side is that you can uh, to make it long for, for, uh, for like zoom the distance. And it helps to see uh, the objects which, is you, which you want damage to see accurately. The main product which is demonstrated in the exhibition, it's also a new product, is a Washak Sniper Rifle with 8.6 70mm caliber. I'd like to inform you that the Lapua Magnum uh, cartridge is very high level ammunition among the ammunition and it is used in this rifle. And taking into consideration the essence of this Lapua Magnum cartridge, we decided to produce such kind of uh, rifle. The size range is uh, 1200 uh, meter and the operation mode is bolt action and it has all the features which belongs to the professional rifles. And the weight of the weapon is six kilograms. And depending on the request, we can use all the optical sides uh, on this uh, rifle. Leopold, Schlenkbender, Night Force, such kind of uh, optical sides can be used uh, depending on the request uh, on the rifle. Uh, weapons are uh, constructed uh, NATO, uh, according to the standards of the NATO's Picatinny and it can be used uh, different, uh, um, like various types of uh, tactical uh, equipment. Our first project uh, on this line was with the company of Sarasha Ijmash and it was the uh, AK M74 uh, Kalashnikov rifles. Using the technology transfer with this company, we have produced and created a new modernized, uh, modernized uh, rifles. We have produced uh, 5.45 uh, millimeter at simultaneously 7.62 millimeters uh, Kalashnikov 2, which is modernized by our side. And according to the NATO standards, we have produced also such kind of rifles with the NATO standards, uh, 5.56 mm caliber. You can see all the um, rifles, the Picatinny, and it makes it easy to set over the rifle different tactical, technical components at the same time optical sides. The capacity of magazine is 50 rounds and it's created by our uh, engineers. And right now our armed forces use this uh, rifle very successfully. One of the new products uh, which is demonstrated in this exhibition is, is the vehicle uh, which is uh, founded with a found in the base of a Toyota uh, Hilux uh, car uh, and it is planned to use in the special forces and it brings uh, the special forces uh, to the places uh, for implementation their tasks. 
And in case of any weapons providing provision systems, uh, this car helps uh, the special powers, uh, special forces for using their weapons over this car. As you see that the over the car is set it as a machine gun with great caliber. And you see the machine gun uh, with 12.7 caliber. And on the right side, you can see the machine gun with a 7.62 millimeter caliber. Uh, you can, uh, it's loaded with 300 cartridges. You can take it, 12.7 millimeter caliber, you can take it. So the main feature is anyway, if you want, you can take this uh, machine guns, uh, you can separate it from a uh, vehicle. So on the other side of the car, the special forces can set their other devices too. At the same time, uh, we have the other two types of this car. And on the other type of the car, uh, we have used anti-tank rocket systems. And the other uh, version of the car, we have used a 30 mm grenade launcher. Besides this is the locally made two-fan 4x4 MRAP, which is now being demonstrated in full scale at the ADEX 2018 show. By showcasing this first prototype of the two-fan development program, the Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense Industry, or MODIAR, is once again confirming its will to progress in developing fully indigenous products. The Tufan uses a new design of light compact vehicle featuring a monocoque structure with integrated V-shaped armored hull, offering a mine protection level of up to Stanak 3A. The vehicle is able to carry a total of 10 military personnel, including driver and commander. It has a total weight of about 12 tons with a maximum payload of about 3,000 kilograms. The vehicle can run at a maximum speed of 85 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of about 600 kilometers. The roof of the vehicle is fitted with a remotely operated weapon station armed with a 12.7 mm NSVT heavy matching gun. And finally, here is a new project linking a BTR-70 and the Elbitz Spear long-range mortar. This upgrade program was first highlighted by Azeri newspaper in August 2017. It was then confirmed that Azerbaijan State Border Service BTR-17 were currently being modernized at the Services Maintenance Center. The BTR-70 8x8 Infibus Armored Personal Carrier was shown in public for the first time during the November 1980 parade in Moscow. Around 70 vehicles were delivered to the Azerbaijani Armed Forces in 1991. The Elbit System's peer mortar system is equipped with cutting edge fire control, navigation, automatic aiming and propulsion systems, which facilitate a fully autonomous operation and provide increased firepower and accuracy. Uh, with the company specialized in broad range of products, and specifically, uh, we present our latest developments in the area of UAVs. And uh, we show uh, here our development in uh, multi-copters, in the octa and hexacopters, and that can able to monitor and specialize in, for surveillance. And also we present our development in uh, vertical takeoff and landing UAVs, a completely autonomous system. It can transmit uh, the information 4G and, and 3G VPN network. It uses high-end camera, and we its use cases range from intelligence, surveillance, monitoring, and the main advantage is that it can uh, monitor long-range area up to 150 kilometers. It can uh, transmit the high, highly encrypted information to the ground control station. And we also develop intelligence systems, software solutions based on the machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms for UAVs that's responsible for recognition, target identification and uh, surveillance. Anama, established in 1998 by the presidential decree in order to eliminate the risk of landmines and unexploded ordnance, uh, there was a serious need to clear the landmines and explosive remnants of war from the territories. We used a different personal protective equipment for uh, more quality work and for more safety. Our mission is to clear territory and give this territory for the end user 
in order to use this land without any injuries. Actually, mine problem is a socio-economic problem. Today, we work in almost every region surrounding with the line of contact and the border with Armenia. Our staff working in Turkey, we cleared landmines from the Turkish and Syrian border. As a winner of the tender, we conducted a series of training courses for the Republic of Georgia. Recently, we conducted training for the Ukraine. Now, we are operating in Azerbaijan and helping help our colleagues in need. And we go to uh, foreign countries to learn. And there are different uh, detectors, magnetic locators, the samples of the landmines and ammunition, and different tools that we deal that our deminers working every day and providing the saving the lives of the local people. And we provide the safety for the tourists, we provide safety for the construction workers, visitors, and everyone uh, that's using uh, the territory.